Welcome to another episode of Any Sponge. This week, we get news that Jeff Nichols is going to begin pre-production, obviously, on a um, new project called Yankee Commandant. Um, Kevin, are we excited by anything, Jeff Nichols? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I, for me, he's one of the my favorite uh, American filmmakers working right now, and um, this project is a little more exciting because he's he's once again working with Adam Driver, who we first worked with on um, Midnight Special. So this is really great news, especially coming off the back of um, he was working on um, Alien Nation over at Fox, which was going to be his big, um, his probably a, a, one of the bigger movies he would have ever made. But uh, that that sort of fell by the wayside um, after the Fox Disney merger. So it's good that he's back soon, uh, quickly with something else. So that's very exciting. So Yankee Commandant is, um, it's taken from a New Yorker uh, article. Um, and um, it, it's uh, based uh, during uh, the revolution era in Cuba. So it's gonna be a period piece. Um, I don't believe we'd see any flashback episodes or anything of the sort because a lot of the characters, um, real life people um, that were um, in the, this larger story um, do survive. There is a legacy, if you will, to different character set. So I imagine this will be set in stone and, um, and set around that, that 60s era. Um, let's talk a little bit about the person that'll, so it's, take, it's, it's based on this article. Let's talk about the writer actually. Sure, so uh, it's written by David Gran, who has, who has been sort of a quiet force in Hollywood a little bit. Um, he wrote the book that became uh, The Lost City of Z. He wrote the article that became The Old Man and the Gun. and. Uh, his book, Killer of the Flower Moon, is, um, sorry, Killers of the Flower Moon is going to be Martin Scorsese's next picture if someone decides to pay $200 million for that budget. But um, yeah, I mean, he's a very, very well respected uh, writer. So it'll be, in, and he always finds like an interesting pockets of history to talk about. So I think this will be uh a fascinating tale from a period that's been pretty well covered in hollywood it's a, this is a favorite subject for a lot of filmmakers so this character is actually um i, I just I, I went through the new yorker article really quickly because you know it'll take uh, half a day to read but um apparently he was known as a holden caulfield with a machine gun um a lot of people thought of him as not a double agent but a triple agent um so it's a, it's about this man from ohio that befriends the people that were in the mountains fighting uh, for the revolution. Um, when I saw the news and I saw Grant's name attached, I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be soaked in a really interesting period. And I was thinking uh, of another Adam who's attached to the project and Adam Stone, um, who's, who has such a, a strong presence for, in terms of Jeff Nichols' uh, visual language. How do, you think, uh, how do you think that participation might occur? It's, it hasn't been confirmed that Adam Stone's on the project, but we can pretty much guess that after five feature films together, that'll be the case. So what do you think about uh, the, the landscape? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, the Cuban Revolution, uh, what else is there to say? It, it lends itself to a lot of rich imagery, a lot of provocative imagery. So um, I presume they'll, they will be working together again and, um, and it'll be a bigger, a bigger canvas for him as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think this is a really cool opportunity for both of them, um, to step up their, their talents on a, on a bigger, on a bigger surface. So yeah, we'll see. And worth mentioning, uh, this project actually surfaced a couple of years back, um, and they didn't mention in today's article, um, but yeah. Yeah, so it triggered the name sort of like, for whatever reason, triggered a, a memory in the back of my brain. So several years ago, this was supposed to be a uh, George Clooney project. He was set up to direct, uh, he was gonna produce through his Smokehouse Pictures. And I guess for whatever reason, it just never happened. And I presume the lights, the rights lapsed as well because it's no longer there, so. What could have been, you know, what could have been, but 
but uh, I'm glad it's signed it with Jeff Nichols for sure. Cause um, yeah, I'm just glad to have a new film, but it'll be a while. It's not shooting till 2021. So patience. Final question. Do you think there'll be a part for Michael Shannon? I think if Michael Shannon wants a part, there'll be something for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see that, uh, that bromance end anytime soon. Well said. Hi, I'm Eric Lavallee. I'm Editor-in-Chief and Site Owner for IonCinema.com and this is Kevin Jaggernaut, Contributing Writer for The Playlist. And together we are Indie Sponge.